All right, today we're in a 2002 Audi All Road. Um, we're gonna take out the radio. You're gonna insert the keys into the slot with a notch facing in. See that notch? That notch always has to face towards the center of the radio. So on the left side, they face in. On the right side, they face in. All right, and you're gonna apply outward pressure while you pull. It doesn't always come out that easy. When it doesn't come out that easy, what you do there we go. is you gotta push outward. If you look at the clips, hold the radio on the corner angle. Mm -hmm. A little more. I'll tilt it this way. There you go. See those little clips? I don't know if you let me zoom in a little. See when you apply pressure like that, it pulls them back a little bit. All right, and that's the same how same way how you release them. You just push in the clip. It's hard to do it with one hand. It's hard to do it with one hand. Put, put the radio back in. There you go. Yeah, just leave the radio in and just release them like so. Now, uh, we have the radio code, and usually the um, Silly little button fell off. Sorry, it goes right back in. The uh, Usually the um, the radio code is in the owner's manual. Uh, to do an iPod install, this is the only one you have to remove here. Let me just, hey, I'll hold it. You can pull it out. It's a little hard to remove when you're not looking at it. That's the only one right here. Um, but since we do have the radio code, we're going to take off the rest of them just to show you. That's the uh, first antenna. And there's the second antenna. There's a little tab on it. Got it. You got it. I got it. There's a little tab on the top. Just push down. And you wiggle out. Hold on, let me grab it with the other hand. All right. I don't even know if what. Jeez, there it is. See, it doesn't. It's not that hard, but it's just a little tab, and it releases inside. But it's just not that easy. All right. And then when you get over here, this is your power. This is your front speakers, and this is your power plug. Front speakers. And this system is fully amplified. I think. Oh, I can't tell right now. No, it's not fully amplified. Only the rear is amplified. Some cars, some cars, the front speakers are only for the um, for this Bluetooth for this car. They're actually for music too. But anyway, that's how you take out the radio. Um, we're gonna come back with a um, a full Denshin Gateway 300 install. All right, there's not a lot of room. Um, there's not a lot of room in the uh, behind the radio in this car. Um, the regular Denshin will fit. Uh, the Bullet Safe, the Grom, they're all a little tight. Uh, so it's really easy to drop the glove box in this car to hide the unit. Uh, all you got to do is there's a little notch right here. You can see there's a little notch right there. Just put your panel popper in there, or you, know, you use a flathead screwdriver to remove that. It doesn't really need to come out. It's just a force of habit I have. Um, then there's two screws over here. See one hole here and one hole here. There's a eight millimeter Phillips head. Now when you open the glove box, there's going to be one, two, and three. Take the two side ones off first. I think I already said it, but it's eight millimeter. All right, now leave the last one for the middle one for the last. Now as you take this out, make sure you hold up the glove box as it's coming. Um, on this car, all the way back at the bottom of the glove box, there was a little tape holding everything up. Um, I don't know if that's factory or not, but um, before you do any of this, check the uh, to see if there's tape back there. Um, now what you do, just pretty much drop the glove box like this. Let's see if I can get this in the shot. Alright, that's how easy it comes down. Now just to show you. Uh, there's this, this connector here for the light. All you gotta do is wedge that out. Pretty much spread these two open. All right, and once you get that done, um, the whole glow box just comes right out. There you go. Now, if you look back here, there's plenty of room to drill. Either here or here for the cable USB. Uh, 
we haven't decided what we're doing with this car yet, so. But that's how you take out the glove box. All right, we're back in the um, Audi All Road. We're going to show you how to install. Uh, this is how you install any iPod adapter. Um, the Denshin Gateway 300 GW33 AC2 is what we're installing. Um, the GW33 AC2 is just like the GW16 AC2, except for it adds USB. Um, yeah, if you look at the box, Bag tail. it's a pretty decent big box. USB, auxiliary, and then that's the iPod cable plugs in, and that's the car harness. First thing you're going to do is uh, ground the unit. Um, we like to tap them into the grounds, but actually this is a good ground. Just take off that factory screw, and uh, we prepped it with a ring terminal. It doesn't come with it. We actually added it ourselves. Just make sure when you put it back in, it's snug so it grabs a good ground. Crooked video. Not snug. Yeah, pretty much just make sure when you try to spin the ground, it won't spin. Uh, next thing you're going to do is you're going to plug in the, fem the male connector with the female pins into the top rope. It only goes in one way, so you don't have to worry about that. All right, now the um, the tension harness is a little short, so um, I don't. This is definitely well. Actually, hold on one second. We're right back. All right, mid shoot, we kind of revised how we're going to do this uh, install because we just realized the tension box, even though it's wide, it's not fat, which means that um, you can fit it behind the radio unlike uh, some of the other units. All right, so next thing we're gonna do right here is we're gonna take off another eight millimeter bolt. Actually, let me show you from the beginning. There is this uh, little cover here. This is, uh, you know, glove box was here. Um, just grab your pick, stick it in there. Whoops. You can actually use a radio removal key to do this. I tend to pick it back here, so in case you mar it up, you can't see it. Um, all right, now, there's another eight millimeter. This is actually a nut. Once you release that, it just you know, freely moves. Um, all right, all right. This customer wants his iPod cable um, run into the center console because he wants to keep it right there. So pretty much, we're just going to tuck. This is the carpet. Just going to tuck the cable down here and feel for it. Actually, it's actually easier. I don't know if you can see this. Sorry, take a little quick install. Um, obviously we don't work in that many all roads, so we don't have the, the, uh, <clears throat> we don't have a set way of doing it yet. Alright, so pretty much I just ran it through here behind this plastic cover. And, oops, there you go. And then the iPod cable comes out right through the front. See, you actually see my fingers right here, so it's really not hard to run at all. Ta-da! Alright, um, next thing you're going to do is going to run the USB. If you look back here, there's a little air conditioning vent. Um, make sure whatever, wherever you run it, you run it clear of that. Um, I like to run it high. Like if you go... Um, there's plastic everywhere in here. Uh, actually, you know what, you could also run it through the same, pretty much same spot. I just ran the iPod cable down here. Uh, see, my fingers are right there. All right, and then what I would do is just zip tie it to these things right here. And then, you know, this is the back of the glove box, so it's going to go in right there. All right, box, can you see? Yeah. I would zip, I just ran it pretty much just so you could see what I did. I just ran it right up here and then I'm gonna zip tie it to all these little these are little supports I guess flex supports I guess for better la for lack of a better word um, zip tie them to there and then we're gonna drill a hole in the back of the glove box and like I said the iPod cable we're just gonna run it into the center console because that's where he, he wants the iPod cable here and then we're also gonna run an auxiliary cable the same wrap